Mr. President, uh, I certainly respect greatly uh, Senator Hatch and his uh, uh, respect for integrity of our system. And I know that he is acting with his sincere beliefs. But I am disappointed. And I need to say that. Uh, the Inspector General's report is a serious investigation. It involves episodes that took place during the previous administration, in which the commissioner, who was appointed by then a Republican, uh, was um, in charge. There is no indication at all of Carolyn Colvin being the subject of the investigation. In fact, she has tried to take steps to be totally open and transparent about what has happened and has been totally forthcoming to our committee, the Ways and Means Committee, uh, in providing uh, the information. But I just really want to stress what Senator Mikulski said about the urgency of this matter. It will be, if we don't confirm her during the lame duck session, it will be more than two years, two years, that the Social Security Administration will have uh, been uh, operated without a confirmed commissioner. Two years. This is one of the most important agencies in government. And with an acting commissioner, she cannot appoint her key team in place in order to carry out the responsibilities of the Social Security Administration. The morale of the agency is very much impacted when you can't get a confirmed commissioner. And quite frankly, the Senate Finance Committee recommended her appointment three months ago. And it was, a, as, as, as Senator Hatch pointed out, it was a 22 to two vote. So it wasn't a close vote in the Senate Finance Committee uh, at that time, 22 to two vote. And now we can't get her confirmation. Uh, as Senator Mikulski pointed out, we know Carolyn Colvin. She started as a stenographer clerk at the Social Security Administration in the 1960s, working her way through college. She went on to become the deputy commissioner, carrying out major responsibilities as she developed. Her passion has always been for public service. She was the Secretary of Human Resources for the state of Maryland. So this, she knows state, she knows federal, her whole life is devoted to public service. A very honorable person, a person dedicated to leading the Social Security Administration. Now, Mr. President, we have some very critical issues in the next Congress. And we may have some different views on some of those issues, but that's what this Senate's about, to debate those issues. But we need to have a confirmed commissioner in place to help us sort through the challenges that we face. Tens of millions of Americans depend upon the Social Security system. They demand accountability, not just from us, but from the agency. And how can you have accountability if you don't have a confirmed commissioner? So all I can say is we have a qualified person who's gone through the process, who's been recommended by the committee, who has all the talent, commitment, and drive. And it looks like we're not going to be able to get this person confirmed and we're going to have to wait to the next Congress, and then we have to start all over again. We don't know how long that's going to take. So I, I appreciate, Senator Hatch, your, your willingness to work with us, and I assure you that we will work together on this issue. You've always been a very honorable person in working together, and I very much appreciate that on so many different issues. But I have to express to my colleagues my deep disappointment uh, that we cannot get this nomination up for a vote. I yield the floor.